As a friend of mine likes to say, with friends like y'all, you really don't need enemies. So y'all couldn't tell me that the ends of my hair were raggedy AF. How could I trust y'all again? Like seriously. <laughs> So yeah guys, I've known for a while that my hair was breaking and it was just doing the most and it really needed some help. And that's why you probably found I was doing a lot of these treatments to try to revive my hair. I've been doing rice water, I've been doing my Ayurveda tr treatments. I've just been doing a lot to try to see if I could curb the breakage that I was seeing. But I needed to come to terms with the fact that there are some things that only a good trim or good haircut could really fix. And like looking back on some of my videos, I was like, wow, my hair was really starting to thin at the ends. I just needed a professional opinion on maybe what could be causing my breakage as well as how to fix it. So if you guys would like to just kind of hear about my hair and see what I plan to do in the future to kind of get it back on track, then definitely keep on watching. So yeah, let's address the elephant in the room. I cut my hair. <laughs> so yes, I went to a salon in Trinidad called A Styled. It's located in Chagonas, actually, Brentwood. Um, and yeah, I got a really nice haircut. She trimmed off the, what do you call that? I liked, I used to call it a tail. She trimmed off the tail that used to hang a little bit low and it wasn't kind of giving me that flow and that shape that I wanted. So I let her cut that off and then she went through all throughout my hair and cut off the rest of my ends that was starting to thin because of the amount of breakage that I've been experiencing lately. So now I have a way better shape in my opinion. It's definitely more rounded and that's what I told her I wanted. I wanted a more round shape. Like when I wash it and it dries, it literally just dries this way. Whereas before you guys would have seen that in order to get my hair to look right, I had to blow dry it and I had to do a whole lot just to get it to look presentable. Now, it just kind of does its own thing and I'm loving it. So now that I've gotten a fresh start for the new year, it's a whole new hair, new year, new me thing. What am I going to be doing to maintain the fact that I have fresh ends now and that I've kind of been given a do-over in terms of my hair? What am I going to be doing to maintain it? So for one, as you guys know, I would have started doing my Ayurveda treatments last year, maybe like four months ago, so that would have been like around September-ish. Yeah, around September I started doing the Ayurveda treatments. I went to Henna TT, Henna Trinidad, sorry, and I got all of my Ayurveda powders. She even recommended a few that she thinks might be beneficial for me. So I started doing that last year and I kind of fell off. Christmas came and different things just happened and I fell off. Didn't have the time to do them. But I'm starting back this year with a bang and I'm actually going to be joining Chanel aka Nelly B. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link her channel and her video down below. She is starting an Ayurveda challenge for 2020 and just to help me kickstart my Ayurveda treatments again, I'm joining her challenge this year. So definitely head across to her channel and her video and subscribe. Also join the challenge if you're interested in that kind of thing. As we're talking about new regimen, let me get into exactly what that means. So when I went to A Styled, Astrel is the name of my stylist and she was really amazing. We sat down before she did anything to my hair and we had a really long consultation and she asked a lot of questions, she was really in depth, just trying to get an overall understanding of my hair and what are the issues I was experiencing and that kind of thing. But after all of that and with her handling my hair, she designed a specific regimen for me um, based on what I would have, the information I would have given her as well as her assessing my hair as it stands. So, we both agreed on the fact that my hair was severely, severely dehydrated and I know for a fact that is the reason that my hair was breaking as much as it was and for the life of me I couldn't understand why just because I've been... Um, deep conditioning every week, you know, the typical natural hair rules, deep condition every week, make sure you moisturize your hair, you know, like I've been doing all of those things, getting trims, I've been doing it myself mostly, getting trims every few months, um, 
I've been doing all of those things and I'm wondering like why is my hair still breaking like what am I doing wrong so if you have found yourself in a similar situation then listen closely so the first thing I'm going to stop doing is I'm going to be staying away from any products that have drying ingredients so yeah no mineral oil no sulfates none of those bad drying ingredients that's going to stop my hair from accepting the moisture that it really needs from the great products that I'll be putting onto it and trust me the products that she recommended are not cheap <laughs> and I'm not balling like that to be using them religiously over and over so I'm going to be showing you guys as well how to use better ingredients for your hair at a reasonable price point so I'll show you guys that in a different video I'll show you guys a whole regimen, my whole wash day routine in a separate video, you guys will see all of it. So, apart from using better products and better ingredients in my hair, the foundation of my new regimen is going to be water. We always say that water is the best form of moisture, the best form of hydration for your hair, but do we actually follow through with that? I personally knew that I wasn't. For me, I was trying to wash my hair once a week and get it to last as long as I could possibly make it last until the following week when I would do my wash day again. And I knew for a fact that in between my hair was drying out, but I didn't want to have to restyle my hair, which seems really counterproductive now as I think about it. But for me now, I'm going to be incorporating moisture or water way more into my regimen. I'm going to try to hydrate my hair and inundate it in water as much as I can, whether that means um, incorporating a midweek co-wash or just literally stepping into the shower and letting the water drench my hair. So yeah, apart from incorporating more water into my regimen and more hydration, I've just been reflecting on my hair growth journey thus far. And I remember when I first picked up my hair, it was like this short, <laughs> stretched. Um, and I remember in that first year when I went natural, like my hair retained the most length that year. Like I remember I first started off with my hair stopping hair stretched and then it went like way down to hair in this, by my second year. And I was just reflecting on those times and I was like, you know, I used to do mostly wash and goes during those periods just because my hair was so short, I couldn't really like twist out, didn't look good. I was in that kind of awkward phase. So I would mostly do wash and goes. And when I thought about it even further, I was like, some of my favorite YouTubers, um, Kimberly Sherell, Finally Amber, they do mostly wash and go styles. And people like to say oftentimes that, oh, wash and goes can't help you grow your hair. But I've seen so many women who see it differently. And when you think about it, a lot of those YouTubers, either they put out a lot of hair content. So either they are washing their hair very frequently to put out that type of content. Some of them put out two, three videos a week. So like they're always in their hair, always restyling. And the key in that is not necessarily the style, but just the constant moisture is being put into your hair because you don't style dry hair necessarily unless it's like a blowout or, you know, that kind of thing. So just thinking about those things made me really reflect. <laughs> and I was like, no, I could definitely understand why those things work for some people. They may not work for everybody, of course, but for some people, I definitely, definitely can see why they work. So for me, this personally is a better fit in terms of um, what my hair likes and what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to be doing mostly wash and goes. I see all that to see. <laughs> I'm going to be doing mostly wash and goes going forward. So for me, that means inundating my hair with frequent moisture and just out of practicality as well. Like wash and goes are the next, are the best option in terms of having to wet your hair so frequently. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So it's just all of those things kind of made me reflect and think, you know what, let's go back to basics. And hopefully that is the key that unlocks the secret to me retaining length. Additionally, what I'm going to be doing, because hair growth is not only what you do to your hair, it's also what you do internally. So I have been trying to eat a lot cleaner these days and drinking more water. The exercise is a struggle, <laughs> not gonna lie. But um, I'm doing my best to try to hydrate myself from the inside out. So that is definitely something that I'm going to be doing to help me to grow up my hair and retain the moisture and retain the length that I know I can, that I know I have retained previously. 
so yeah guys i hope that this little hair update and this little talk kind of gave you guys food for thought if you've been experiencing some of the issues that i've been experiencing i hope that you just kind of you know have maybe a light bulb moment or maybe something that i've said resonates with you that you're able to take from this video and i hope that really helps you guys if you have been having similar problems to me and you have done something else maybe that worked definitely comment that down below i love to hear i love to see what you guys have been doing to overcome your growth plateaus and you know to just get your hair into a healthier state also if you've been doing a regimen similar to mine i'd love to hear about it in terms like long term what have been your results and what has been your experience with maybe doing um mostly wash and goes or like wetting your hair more frequently I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that. So comment that down below and let me know what you guys think. So yeah, I hope you guys stay along with me for the ride. Those are my plans for my hair for 2020 moving forward. And I would love to, you know, check in with you guys a little bit later so you could see what my progress has been looking like. Maybe like around June or so. And definitely at the end of the year for sure. So if you guys, again, like this type of content, then definitely give me a thumbs up and <laughs> sis or sir if you are not yet subscribed to my channel what are you doing with your life <laughs> definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss future uploads and i thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video take care bye